this program is about a street math system with an exciting course of, of not sine wt. The program also tells us that the amplitude at resonance is 0.58 centimeters, and at point A resonant frequency, the amplitude is 0.46 centimeters. And it's asking us to find the damping ratio. Let's first write down what is the equation to find the amplitude of a system that is vibrating with a force applied to it. So that equation is equal to x f naught over k over the square root one minus w over w n, and this is gonna be square plus two damping ratio w over w n squared. If you notice at resonance, W over WN equals one because both frequencies are the same. So if we substitute this in here, we're gonna end up with the following equation. Will be equal, the amplitude will be equal to the F not over K over the square root of two damping ratio W over W N, and because this is square, we're gonna get the following. Okay, now, since we are all, since now we're solving for resonance, we need to notice that this term is equal to one, so we'll end up with the following. Now we have an expression to relate the amplitude at resonance with the following parameters. Let's now rearrange this equation so we can know what is the term F naught over K. It's gonna be equal to two damping ratio X. And let's leave this as equation number one. In this equation, we have the amplitude at the resonance, the x, which is given, and damping ratio is what we're looking for. So we're gonna leave this equation number one here. And next, now let's look for the second information. Now, at point A resonant frequency, the problem give us the amplitude, which is 0.46 centimeters. So we can do similarly, we can go back to the equation that we previously discussed that give us the amplitude of a vibrating system when a force is uh, applied, which is given by this equation. And we can substitute the values that we have to similarly find an expression for the amplitude. Now, previously we found that F naught over K, it was equal to the expression of 0.58 by two by damping ratio. And that came from the first condition of the problem that at the resonance, the amplitude was 0.58 centimeters. So now we can substitute this in this equation and we can substitute the value of 0.58 a resonant frequency, which in other words means that W over WN is equal to point A, we will be able to solve for the damping ratio because the only variable uh, that are not defined is the damping ratio. So let's do that. Let's substitute the values 0.46 over 0.58 to damping ratio, which is coming from this expression. We divide by this in here is equal to one over one minus 0.80 square to the square plus two damping ratio by 0.80. Then all of this square. Now, for us to be able to solve for this because this is the square root, we can now square this expression. Again, we're substituting the values here, the amplitude 
over at nine over k, which we which we will previously define. And now we're substituting in here, and we got is equal to the square root of this expression. We're gonna now square both sides of this equation as follows to solve for them b. So in this part, we're gonna get 0.212 over 1.16 squared, damping ratio squared, is equal to one over 0.129 plus four damping squared point fifty four. Okay, now let's continue working with this equation. So we know now that this part of this equation is equal to one point. So if we can just cross multiply these and rearrange further, we're going to get 1.346 damping ratio squared is equal to 0.212 multiplied by 0.129 plus 4 damping ratio squared 0.64. Okay, um, now we can continue working with this equation. If we divide by this term, we're gonna get 1.346 times the square over 0.212 is equal to 0.129 plus four times the square by 0.64. Now this value in here, gives me 6.359 damping ratio square is equal to 0.29 plus 2.50 damping ratio square. We can just rearrange this equation and we're gonna get a value of 3.799 damping ratio square equals 0.29. Damping ratio is equal to 0.29 over 3.799, which is going to be equal to 0.034. Then the square root of that value is going to give me the damping. So the damping is going to be equal to 0.1843. So that's the final value of our damping, 0.18.42.